The PT878 can be powered by either a wall mount plug-in receptacle or by internal high energy rechargeable batteries. When shipped to customers, the batteries in the PT878 are not charged. It is recommended that you charge the batteries for 24 hours prior to remote use of the PT878 flow meter. In order to charge the batteries, you must plug in the AC power adapter to a power source. Ensure the PT878 is turned off before connecting line voltage. To turn off the PT878, press the power button, then the F1 button to shut down. The AC adapter port is located on the top left hand side of the PT878. Before plugging in the power adapter cable to the power adapter port, align the pins from the adapter port to the adapter cable and push the adapter cable straight in until you hear a click. Plug the power cord into the PT878 AC adapter and then plug the other end of the power cord into a power receptacle for line voltage. A LED light indicates confirmation that power is connected and flowing to the AC adapter. When plugged into line voltage, the PT878 will charge whether the unit is on or off. The battery icon in the upper right corner of the PT878 screen indicates battery status. In order to disconnect the PT878 from line voltage, ensure that the PT878 is turned off. Unplug the power cord from the line voltage and then disconnect the power cord from the AC adapter. In order to disconnect the power adapter cable from the power adapter port on the PT878, you must pull back on the locking sleeve in order to release the cable. If you do not perform this step correctly, you could damage both the power adapter cable and the power adapter port on the PT878. Pull back gently on the locking sleeve, then pull the adapter cable straight out from the PT878 power adapter port.